Okay, we're going to practice factoring out the GCF. So all we're trying to do is find the GCF and pull that out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see. I'm going to look at my coefficients, and I've got to figure out what number, what's the largest number that goes into all of them. Now, there is a trick on the calculator, but I'll show that later. The first thing I always do is I look and I find the smallest number. It, does this number go into 21? Well, if you don't, if you don't know, you can just go to the calculator and put in there 21 divided by 3 and press enter. And you'll see that it's 7. And then try 36 divided by 3 if you didn't know. And it does equal with a whole number. So that means that 3 is my largest number that goes into all 3. Uh, let's see if I can close my calculator. It kind of sounded crazy there. 3 is the largest number that goes into all of those numbers. Now, is there a letter that goes into all of them? No, because there's not a letter over here. So now we have to write what's left. We've got we've to figure out what's left if I pull out a 3. So basically, I'm dividing each thing right here by 3, each term, sorry, not thing. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That leaves me with b squared. So b squared, 21 divided by 3 is 7b, 36 divided by 3 is 12. Now we factored out the 3. That's all I want you guys to do. Next one. Okay, you're trying to figure out what is the GCF. First thing I look at is this number here, 6. Does 6 go into 28? Er, I don't think so. Not evenly. 28 divided by 6. Nope, it doesn't. So it's not 6. Well, you've got to think of what other numbers multiply together to give you 6. So let's see. There's 1 and 6, 2 and 3, um, nothing for 4 or 5. So 3 is the next largest number. Does 3 go into 28? Oh, wrong button. Let's try this again. Let's go 28 divided by 3. Enter. That gives you a decimal, too, so it's not that. Well, what about 2? If I wanted to figure that one out, well, all of these are even. So, yes, I would pull out a 2, and I would have to write what's left. I know because they're all even that a 2 goes into it. So, let's see. That's the same as dividing everything by 2. The other thing I should have looked at, there's m squared, m. There's no letter here, so that means there's the only GCF is the 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then m squared. 28 divided by 2, 14, and then the m. 80 divided by 2 is 40. You now factored out the GCF. Number 3. Okay. Well, I try and figure out, does 8 go into 20? I know that doesn't. And one of the ways you could do this, one of the quick ways with the calculator is you could go up here, and there is a way, I keep pressing the wrong button here. We can go, you could press math, arrow over to number. If you go to number 9, I'll just click down here and go to number 9. See how it says GCD, that's greatest common divisor, same as GCF. And you'll press enter, and then you'll put 8 the comma, and 20, and press enter. You can only do two numbers at a time. It's a 4. So what I say is out of these two right here, a 4 goes into both of them. Well, does, nine, does 4 go into 96? I go 96 divided by 4. Sure enough, it goes in evenly. So my GCF is 4. So I'm going to put my 4 here, and then I have to write what's left. So that's the same as dividing everything by 4. I get 8 divided by 4 is 2z squared. 20 divided by 4, 5z. 96 divided by 4, well, we just found that to be 24. So minus 24. There's number 4. Why don't you try this one and uh, pause the video and then come back and see how you do. On this one, I have 12. 
Well, there's a 12 there. Does 12 go into 210? Know, I'm not sure. So I'm going to go 210 divided by 12. Does not go in evenly, so that's not going to help me. Well, since these are all 12s, I can go and do my little trick here. Math. Arrow over to number. Press 9 for GCD. Put in there 12, comma, 210, and press enter. And it is a 6. 6 goes into all of these. So now I have 6, and I've pulled that out. So now let's write what's left. Divide this by 6. That's 2t squared. Divide this one by 6. That's minus 2t. Um, 210 divided by 2. You can put it in the calculator, or you may know it's 105. And now we have factored out the GCF. Here's the next one. Pause the video and come back and see how you do. I'm going to look here. I've got, I always start with my lowest, smallest number, 4. Does 4, is there anything times 4 to give me 6? No. So I don't even go any farther. What's the other number that multiplies by 4? 2. Does 2 go into 6? Yes. 2 go into 36? Yes. So I've got 2. And I need to write what's left. So I'm going to divide everything by 2, each term. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then you have s squared. 6 divided by 2, 3s. Negative 36 divided by 2, negative 18. Number 6. Pause the video and come back and see how you do. Well, there's my lowest coefficient. Does 2 go into 16? Yes, because it's even, and it goes into 28. So my GCF is going to be a 2. It's not a letter because there's not a letter in this last term. So now, divide everything by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. I've got x squared. 16 divided by 2 is 8. That's 8x. Negative 28 divided by 2 is negative 14. I factored out the GCF. Try number seven. Pause that video and come back and see how you do. On this one, the lowest coefficient is a two. Does two go into five? No, it does not. It doesn't go in evenly, and there's no other numbers. So there, there's nothing that goes into all three of these numbers. This means that this is not that there's no GCF. I'm sorry. No GCF. So you would leave it alone if all we were doing was pulling out the GCF. Number eight. Pause that video. Well, the lowest number is seven. Does seven go into 21? Yes, it does. Does seven go into 14? Sure does. So my GCF is seven. There's not a letter in all of them, so let's see. Let's divide out a 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so I get a squared. 21 divided by 7 plus 3a. 14 divided by 7 plus 2. This is now factored. Number 9. Pause the video and come back and see how you do. Well, I go and look. It's I've got a 3. Well, this one's a 3. Does 3, three go into 15? Yes. So I get 3, and then I have to write what's left. Divide by 3 to everything. Right here, this is a 1, so I get c squared minus c minus 5. Number 10, pause that video and come back and see how you do. All right, so right here, I've got 4. Does 4 go into 18? Well, let's see. I don't think there's anything time. So I go 18 divided by 4 is a decimal. I can't do that. So let's see. What else goes into 4? A 2. 
2 goes into all of these, so I'm going to pull out a 2. So divide everything by 2. I get 2n squared, because 4 divided by 2 is 2, plus 18 divided by 2 is 9n, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Number 11. I think it's 11. Miss the number? Yeah, sure. Pause that video and come back and see how you do. Well, let's see. I've got 12. Let's look in here. I've got a 2, my smallest coefficient. 2 goes into 4. 2 goes into 12. So I'm going to pull out a 2 and write what's left. I'm going to divide everything by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative y, 1y. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2y squared. Here's the next one. Pause that video and come back and see how you do. All right, I'm going to go and look. I've got my smallest number, 6. 6 goes into 18. Does 6 go into 10? No. Well, the next one, let's say I've got 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Let's see, what about 3? 3 goes into 18. 3 does not go into 10. But what about 2? 2 goes into all of them. So I have a 2. And I'm going to divide everything by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 18 divided by 2, 9m. 6 divided by 3 plus 3m squared. Next one. Let's look and see. My smallest number right here is 3. Does 3 go into 6? Yes. Does 3 go into 9? Yes. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to divide everything out by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2a two squared. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Plus 1a. 9 divided by 3 is 3. I just factored out the 2. Pause that video and come back and see how you do. Can you factor out the GCF? Smallest number is 8. 8 does not go into 20. Okay, well, let's see. I've got 1 and 8, 2 and 4. Well, let's see if a 4 works. A 4 goes into 8, 4 goes into 20, yes, and a 4 goes into 12. Ah, there we go. I found my, my, uh, my GCF. I've got a 4. Let's write what's left. Divide everything out by 4. I've got 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. Next one. Well, here's my 5. 5 goes into 15. 5 goes into 30. So 5 will be my GCF. To pull out what, um, pull it all out, I, I um, divide everything by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. I get x squared. 15 divided by 5 is 3x. Negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. Next. Pause that video and come back and see how you do. I look at my smallest number, 3. Does 3 go into 4? No. Well, the only factors of 3 are 1 and 3. This one, there is no GCF. There's nothing that you can pull out that goes into all of these besides a 1, and that won't help us. Next one, pause that video and come back and see how you do. I go to my smallest coefficient, which is 6. Does 6 go into 18? Yes. 6 go into 36? Yes. So I'm going to pull out a 6. I'm going to divide every, everything by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 36 divided by 6 
is 6. Next one. Pause this video and come back and see how you do. The smallest coefficient is a 3. 3 goes into 18, yes. Does 3 go into 9? Yes, it does. 3 is my GCF, and if I pull that out and I divide everything by 3, these are this is 1, and I get x squared, 18 divided by 3, 6x, 9 divided by 3 is 3. All right, now this one, it says to find the, each product. Remember, product means to multiply. So this is two terms by two terms. So I'm going to draw my box, make it a two by two. And I get x plus 3, 4x plus 7. 4x times x, 4x squared x times 7, 7x, 3 times 4x, 12x, 3 times 7, 21. Remember, add up these two boxes that are alike right here. It is 4x squared plus 19x plus 21. Right here, do you remember what this type, um, these type of factors are called? When they're exactly the same, but one is positive, one is negative? This is the difference of squares. Well, this is still a 2 by 2, so I'm going to draw this. And I get y minus 6 and y plus 6. y times y, y squared, y times 6, 6y, negative y, or negative 6 times y, negative 6y, negative 6 times positive 6, negative 36. Add these two together. You get y squared, 6 minus 6 is 0, minus 36. Next one. Uh, yeah, this is the last one. Again, it's a 2 by 2. All right, so I've got this. And I've got 7 minus 3r, 8 minus 2r, 7 times 8 is 56, 7 times negative 2r, negative 14r, negative 3r times 8, negative 24r, negative 3r times negative 2r, negative times a negative is positive 6r squared. Now see this is just kind of written a little different than what we're normally used to because the r's are the last terms, but that's okay. Because here I'm going to write, I have the units, I have 56. I still have my X number, or they're not X's this time, are they? They're R's. So that's negative 38R plus 6R. Or you can write it 6R minus 38R plus 56. And that's your answer.